It is Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Just got here to the gym, about to go inside and hit a chest workout, focus on some heavier bench presses because I am trying to work on my little baby poverty piece of junk, terrible bench press. So I'm trying to get that up, um, but today, don't really have too much planned. I have some errands to run after this, and then it is June 20th, which means Transformers, the last night comes out. And um, I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna go see it. I don't know if I'm gonna see it in regular 2D or if I'm gonna see it in IMAX 3D, but I am gonna go see it tonight. It's super tempting to see in IMAX because I know it's gonna look good. And there's a super, super nice um, AMC IMAX 3D theater like 10 minutes away from where I live. Oh, but do I want to spend $17 to see a movie I almost can guarantee is going to be horrible? That's the conundrum that I am faced with today. But I'm not going to worry about that. You guys will find out if I see it in IMAX or if I just see it in regular 2D later in the vlog. So stay tuned for that. But right now, about to head inside, get this workout in. Let's go. <laughs> gym about to make a post workout meal real quick and what I'm gonna have is what you guys have seen me make a hundred million times what it seems like the scrambled egg whites with the deli ham and fat free cheese I'll read you guys the macros on that when I'm done with making it because I don't want to pull it up on my phone right now because I'm starving and I just want to make this so I can eat uh, by the way listening to a podcast right now Amanda Bucci radio she is interviewing Sterling Griffin who is a fitness coach, online personal trainer, entrepreneur, super successful business guy. By the way, if you guys want a really good podcast to listen to, go check out Amanda Bucci's podcast. It is fantastic. She has a ton of really awesome guests on there. But nonetheless, about to make this real quick. See you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. So eating my meal right now, I have my egg whites. I just got my emails answered. I'm about to play some Star Wars Battlefront Online with PS4 with my buddy John, who's actually getting married this weekend, so I'm flying back to Indiana tomorrow for his wedding on Saturday, and then I'll be back here Sunday. But I'm um, about to play some Battlefront Online right now, relax until I go get uh, ready for Transformers later tonight. But I'm um, about to chill right now. See you guys in the next clip. I think I'm going to go see Transformers tonight, and hopefully it doesn't suck. Tonight? Just now? 
Uh, there's a ten, there's a late showing tonight here at the IMAX theater. I mean, the only reason you go there is to see like the Transformers. And yeah. And half like three fourths of the movie ends up revolving around Kina. Yeah, but the storyline in general just wasn't that great. No, it was horrible. And this one's not going to be any better. Oh, there's guys behind us. All right, guys. So here at Tijuana Flats, just went and got myself some dinner real quick before I head to go see Transformers. That way I don't have to spend any unnecessary money on any food that is going to put me over my macros anyways. So what I got from Tijuana Flats, by the way, this is like my favorite place. I've eaten it, I think, five times in the week that I've been here so far. And what I got, wow, they gave me a ton of chips. Usually, they always give you some chips, but they gave me a ton, oh my word. Um, but I always get a quesadilla, as you can see right here. There's four little slices, but they're buried by chips. Um, this quesadilla right here has chicken in the middle with a little bit of cheese, so it's really pretty macro friendly. I'm pretty sure the macros on this here, let me see real quick. Hopefully you guys don't fall down. I can open it up on my fitness pal real quick. All right, so according to my fitness pal, this little quesadilla right here is 626 calories, 32 carb, 38 fat, 38 protein. So it is very high in fat, but honestly, other than, well, really anything. I haven't had like any fat today because I've had a can of SpaghettiOs before I went to go work out just to kind of get some sodium in my system. Um, that way I could have a better pump. And then also when I got home, I had the egg whites that I showed you guys. So really, I haven't had like any fat today, so I can definitely, definitely, definitely afford this quesadilla. So I'm gonna eat this real quick, head to the theater. My movie starts in 29 minutes. I am not seeing it at IMAX because I cannot warrant $7.65 on a ticket that I will be paying $6 for if I see it in 2D. That difference for a movie that I have very little faith in is just, I can't justify it. I can't. Even though I know it's going to look amazing, all the Transformers movies look epic, but I just don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. Because the last movie, I literally hated my life from start to finish. Age of Extinction was horrible. Horrible. One of the worst movies that I saw in 2014. But I'm going to try to stay optimistic. My expectations are very low. So if this movie does not meet my expectations, I, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm about to eat this real quick, listen to a little bit more of a podcast that I'm listening to right now, and then it's movie time. Oh my goodness. I just got out of seeing Transformers. The last night, I don't know if I've ever walked out of a theater feel like I have never been in a theater watching a movie and been so repeatedly offended over and over and over again. Like, there were, I'll give it, I'll give this movie, like, ten minutes of really cool action, because Optimus Prime is only in the last ten minutes of this movie, which, Optimus Prime is the only reason we, we watch Transformers movies, and he was, he wasn't even in it, but the moments he was in were really, really cool. But up until that point, we cared so little about that movie because of such a poor script, such hideous acting, a plot that I have, I still don't even know what was going on. I don't even know. 
this, okay, in all reality, this movie was horrible. It was, seriously, when I say I was personally offended while I was watching this movie, guys, this movie is so dumb. It is so dumb that you have a grade-A actor like Anthony Hopkins calling Mark Wahlberg dude. You have a 12-year-old, tw like a little 12-year-old girl standing in front of Megatron saying, I'm not scared of you, cabron. Like, you have all of this garbage, just a convoluted mess of absolutely nothing. And it's going to make boatloads of cash and it isn't right because there are so many good movies out there that struggle to make money and Michael Bay can shit this stuff on a movie screen and make billions of dollars it's not right and I don't oh my gosh I'm so glad I at least didn't see it in IMAX because then I would have given this studio an extra eleven dollars that they really don't need because the last thing I want to do is support this Transformers franchise from here on out moving forward I it was so dumb and again I want to say like there were about ten minutes in this movie at the end when Optimus Prime finally finally thank God shows up but you just don't care at that point Optimus Prime's so cool, too. He, like, his scene, the moments he was in this movie were so badass, but he just didn't care at that point. But my battery's about to die, and I need to go home. So, I'll wrap up the video when I get home. Damn! Alright, guys, so home from the movies. Updating my PlayStation right now. About to edit this vlog that you guys are watching. Eat a protein bar. And pass out. I am so bummed that that movie had to suck that bad. There's no reason for a Transformers movie that it has like that's that popular of a brand with that much potential as a franchise to continuously suck over and over and over again. And I really do think that the only reason these movies continue to suck is because Michael Bay is just getting he's so lazy. He's he's done 13 hours, which was a good movie. Bad Boys are pr that's a pretty good couple movies. Uh, what else? Pain and Gain's not horrible. It's like he has potential, guys. But I think with Transformers, he's just lazy. He's like, hey, if I have some really cool robot fight scenes, we're good. And you know what? The Last Night did have some pretty cool robot fight scenes, especially at the end with Optimus Prime. Best part of this movie, I'll say it over and over and over again. But he was only in it for like 10 minutes. Ah. <sighs> I feel like if you would give this franchise to a new director that like could handle this big awesome blockbuster movie, like J.J. Abrams for instance, he took Star Wars, kind of a story that's already been told which was A New Hope, redid it with The Force Awakens. The stories were pretty similar but he revamped it. He had a lot of character development and he had these really cool action sequences and he had a huge blockbuster that was original, yet you could it still felt very Star Wars-y, obviously. And, like, imagine a guy like J.J. Abrams taking Transformers, using the stories that have already been told, revamping them, having real character development, or even just having a story that is Optimus Prime-focused, because he's the only reason we show up anyways. We just want to see Optimus Prime. And, like, <sighs> there's so much potential here. I'm disappointed that I'm acting like I care so much. I knew this wasn't going to be good, but with Transformers, you always try to be optimistic and get your hopes up. <sighs> but my camera, battery lights blinking, I need to go to bed, and uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here. So if you guys like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that red subscribe button. Don't go see Transformers the last night. Wait for it on Netflix or something like that or Redbox it because the studio doesn't need any more money unless they get a really good director for it, but you know that's not going to happen. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.